Hello, my name is Mrs Sharkey and I'm Head of Textiles here at OLA. Textiles at OLA 6 is a really successful course which is usually studied by people who've taken a GCSE in textiles, although we have had some very successful candidates that have just picked it up at A level and done really well. So don't be put off if you haven't had the chance to study it before. We're here to support you and make sure you're successful no matter what your background. The course we offer at OLA 6 is the AQA Fashion and Textiles A-Level, which comes under the Design and Technology umbrella. So this means that the course is suitable for people that have studied both art textiles at GCSE and come from a more DT background. Um, either way, you can use your skills within this A-Level. The course is made up of 50% NEA, which is the coursework element, and this is a 45-page folder and a final product, usually a garment, which is produced and submitted in the second year of the course. And then the other 50% is made up of two exams that you sit at the end of the second year. The brief for your NEA is written by you. So it gives you a chance to pick a really personal project that you can get your teeth into and something that you are really personally interested in so you can work on it for about a year. The first exam that you sit is two and a half hours long, and this is looking at sort of technical principles of textiles. It's 120 marks, and there's a range of different style questions. There's multiple choice, shorter answer, and extended answer questions within this paper. The second paper is an hour and a half, and this looks at designing and making principles. This paper is out of 80 marks, and there's a product analysis question in this paper, so you can look at something and give your response and improvements and suggested ideas for what they could do with that product to make it more saleable. So there's also uh, shorter and longer answer questions within this paper as well, and then those two question papers add up together to give you half of your A-level. In the first year of the A-level at OLA 6, we do a bit of a trial run of our NEA. So we do two shorter practice projects, which allow you to make mistakes, have freedom to try things out that you may not have done before. And the first uh, brief that we set you is a sportswear brief, where we ask you to find a real customer and you work alongside them to find out what you can do to improve on the outfit that they wear for their chosen sport. So this allows you to look at smart materials, working with breathable and um, stretch fabrics and things that you might not have covered at GCS or, or in the past. And then the second project that we use at uh, OLA SIP is a underwear as outerwear brief and this is looking at how designers incorporate things like corsetry into their outerwear collections. It's not just designed for underwear anymore. So this gives us a chance to do pattern drafting, which is quite a high-end skill that you might not learn until a further point in your career, such as degree level. Um, you can look at different components and fastenings and things that are a little bit more tricky than you would do at GCSE. At OLA 6, we're really lucky to have two dedicated textiles rooms and we've benefited from lots of investment in the last few years. So every pupil will have a dedicated Benina 1008 sewing machine. These are fairly new and they're not short shared during the practical lessons at all. Everybody gets one to one machine time. We have professional steam irons, a felt punch embellisher a cover stitch machine and a bank of overlockers. So it allows you to really finish your products to a professional standard and make high end garments. The department also has a specially designed pattern cutting table and the stools that go with it are at a higher level than you'd find in a normal classroom. So this allows you to be very comfortable and they're ergonomic so that when you're cutting out your fabric and you're doing your pattern cutting, it feels like you're in a real design studio. Alongside our practical space, we have a dedicated CAD suite, which features uh, a range of new Apple Mac computers, and all of which have Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator installed on them, which we use a lot in our work. We have a vinyl cutter and a sublimation printer, along with a heat press for you to use. So you can really make quite professional products in the textiles department. OLA 6 students do tend to spend a lot of extra time in the textiles department if they're studying A-level textiles. So as a result, we've invested in some uh, additional machines that you can use in the CAD suite if the practical room is being used for another year group. So there's never an excuse not to do more textiles. If you choose to study textiles at OLA 6, then you'll be involved with our yearly fashion show, which gives all pupils from year 10 to upper 6 the opportunity to showcase their designs to a live audience. This can be a bit um, nerve-wracking in the first year you do it but everybody pulls together and it's a really lovely evening where we come together and celebrate how amazing our students are. We also try to uh, visit as many galleries and exhibitions that are subject specific as we can so we like to take learning outside of the classroom and we 
often have international trips about every other year, usually somewhere like New York, which is a cross-curricular trip where we have lots of opportunities to look at textiles in um, fashion capital. I hope this has given you a better understanding about what textiles is like at OLA6, but if you have any further questions, please get in touch. Thank you very much.